Hey, what's going on, guys? We are here. I am Dan. I'm Carmen. I'm Mike. And this is... A uh, uh, pilot for a show yet to be named, but Car tell them what we're going to do. Okay, so um, each week we'll look into what's most viral in China. That's our sec number one section. And number two is a hashtag AskOTGW. So if you have any questions, Anything. you can tweet us. Hashtag AskOTGW. So the first story today... The first story today is um, the number one story on Weibo, which is a Chinese tourist that uh, who defaced an Egyptian temple. This is huge right now. And like this kid basically went to an Egyptian temple. A Luxor temple. A Luxor temple and wrote his name on it. That's it literally like me going to the MFA and like writing on a painting. Not on the wall, but literally on that artifact itself. So um, basically what happened was this photo was actually taken by another Chinese tourist mm -hmm. and it went on Weibo and in like a day some it's like they used this thing called human flesh search mm -hmm. and found out who this person was it's actually a 15 year old kid yeah. and they found out what high school he went to like where he's from and started like giving like threats and all that stuff yeah. and basically like this post was posted in Weibo over 90,000 times and um, people are really actually really really ashamed yeah I think that's happened. really important to note because like the whole community they're actually not condoning this behavior and they're saying like, wow, I'm so ashamed. You know, the actions of somebody who's Chinese done overseas is representative of mm -hmm. China. Okay, so yeah. Mike, what do you think? Well, they should be ashamed. I mean, kids like this in China, I mean, nowadays we're seeing a lot of phenomena in China where kids are being treated like little princesses, little princes, like they rule the world. Their parents can't do anything to control them. I think this kid, if it was born in my time, I guess, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a beating right there on the spot. <laughs> and, and I think, like, it kind of makes me, did, it, did he carve it in? Or he did he, he carved it, it in. in. It, looks like, it looks like, I mean, that took some work. I mean, those Chinese characters. I, not, I can't write that. It, it's not like English where, like, yeah. you know, it's, you scribble something. But you, you actually have to make it look, like, kind of right. You know, like, why didn't anybody stop this kid? The Egyptians are just too trusting. They're like, ah, Chinese people, they can't do it. It's <laughs> crazy, you know? And what about the tour guide? Because there's stories about how like, tour guides now who bring Chinese groups and they see this, that to presently the tour guides are ashamed so they try to lead them away. What about the tour guide that was on the site that day? Do you think he just you know ran off and did it by himself? I think he had to have been like, you know what, I'm gonna come back here later and scribble this on it's there. It's like me going to the Met with a freaking chisel and just yeah. picking up a random sculpture and I'm gonna yeah. come and face this thing. And <laughs> exactly. I know like for a while there, people were stealing bricks from the Great Wall of China. I mean, if you've ever been to the Great Wall of China, those bricks, it's not like a simple little piece of <laughs> brick. It's like a big ass boulder. So I mean like, oh, how yeah, did steal it? stealing the boulder? And how can people not see it? <laughs> well, it's like the Great Wall's big, so they just <laughs> yeah. no, like, no. stealing a piece they, of brick. They probably tied mind. it and then one person's on top is like pulling it up like I mean, okay, this is, obviously this is not funny, right? Okay, this is, yes. this is, no, I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny because this is serious. And also, I want to know what kind of consequences this kid is going to face. Well, apparently the parents apologized and the kid wow. is crying. Yeah, that's, that's it. Enough. Yeah, that's no, so. Enough. Yeah, wow. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> like, but what do you think? What do I get? think? Okay. I, I don't think this kid's life should be ruined. Okay. But there needs to be something done. In America... What if you're a juvenile, you rob somebody, you're still gonna get punished. Whether you're gonna go to a detention center, whatever, probation, you, something's gonna happen so you know that this is not okay. I mean, simply apologizing to me is not enough. Well, well I, think, I think the key element here is, look, I mean, do you ever see like a kid in the U.S. going up to a church and going up to the statue of Jesus Christ and just carving his name in it? I mean, I, I never heard of that before in my life. I doubt it really happens. Right. I mean, maybe it happened. I don't, I don't know, yeah. but I'm really doubting that ever Absolutely. happened. Absolutely. I mean, these were places of worship. But luckily, as we've seen with the reaction, most of these netizens are appalled um, like we are. Yeah. So that, that's a great thing to see. You know, no one's going, LOL, I would have wrote this and that, you know, so. Or, yeah. Well, I, I mean, not. in my opinion, I think... Um, Actually, a little, a little recently, the I think the vice president of China said mm -hmm. that you know Chinese tourists need to like behave themselves overseas. So this is a really bad rep for Absolutely. all Chinese people. Absolutely. And yeah. I mean, from coming from Australia, which there's a lot of Chinese tourists, a lot of them, even though they're rich officials or whatever, they I feel sometimes I feel ashamed because they yeah. will like go around and like spit and like you know. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Well, well, you and all that stuff. This and was I'm like, crazy because you were telling me that in Hong Kong. People You've seen literally adults poop 
Never poop mind. in the. Sh in, in, yes. in, I, I, mean, I can't even. Uh, no, I, I refuse. They poop on the subway. They poop at I can't the even airport. believe that. I just saw they a video poop. last week of a woman pooping in the elevator. But, like, <laughs> do you guys understand, like, you know, like, because we. I grew up here. You grew up in Australia. You know, you grew up here in China. I, to me, that is like. Uh, I didn't know. I'm speechless. Yeah, but I'm, I'm speechless. just saying that. You know? That's just a. A, a certain percentage of people, and it's not everybody. Absolutely. But that these people are just really, really giving yeah. us a really bad name. Absolutely, <laughs> it's true. And, and hopefully, like, uh, hopefully, I think this kid should be punished. In fact, maybe his parents' kids' lives shouldn't be ruined. But you know, we th something needs to be done ultimately. Yeah, he should know yeah. that he did a really bad. Thing. Yeah, and other people should know too. You know. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, okay. yeah. The next thing is this video that actually came from a surveillance tape from 2010, but this past week it has got over 3 million views in on Yoku. So, uh, let's watch this. Whoa. So, can you see that motorcycle? Yeah. Yeah. He just hit that van. Look, 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 and now he's gonna hit the car. Oh. Like, like a moped though okay yeah and like okay so these people are, uh, like they're clearly there's some reaction by these two people yeah, so he's trying to get away yeah and these people are probably like hey what the f are you doing so he it looked like okay he's trying to get away or like walking it off he's like walk it off walk it off right. oh 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 i better get the hell out of here oh there he goes there he falls into is that water that's i think that's a well <laughs> he falls into a well <laughs> <laughs> this like, guy's like i'm just having like the worst day ever but I mean, like, dude, he obviously is drunk. Or oh, oh, under so. some sort of influence. <laughs> For his yeah, sake, yeah. I hope he's drunk. Also, a lot of people are saying, like, like karma's a bitch. You know, like, he he tried to get away, clearly, and then at the end, he suffered his own, the consequences. Okay, like, he hit, he hit the first van, and he was probably just like, okay, because a lot of people in China, they, they do a lot of hit and runs. We all know that. It's caught in surveillance. So he's probably like, okay, I'm, I'm okay. The person in the van's okay. Nothing's broken. Let me just turn it. And hit in the car. But then he hit another one. <laughs> so then now, it's like the stakes are raised, right? The domino has been, and now he's like, oh crap. And then he hits a person. Yeah. And so, now he's a he's truck. So now it's like, all right, I'm, so he's like, he's, un, he's probably like all messed up and like, oh my gosh, I just need to get away. So one thing leads to another. And then finally, he's just like, I better get the heck out of here because I've damaged four things. But then he didn't see the big well right there. Well, I mean, yeah, you don't see the big well because it was behind a big barrier that <laughs> you from yeah. crossing it. Yeah. There's a reason why there was a fence there. Uh, actually, yeah. what really, uh, I don't know what the word, I just don't understand why Chinese people like to use popular soundtracks <laughs> like Justin Bieber's Baby to these type of videos. It just doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, I really thought it definitely, I was laughing my ass off because it was like, Baby, baby playing baby. in the and background, it's like, you know? boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. And you're like... So. Oh, well, right. he's actually lucky because lately we've gotten news about the mysterious ooze coming out of China. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Underground. So at least he didn't fall into like a, like a big well of ooze. Or even like a river. Like recently there was a police officer who jumped in the river to uh, save somebody and he got like all like infected and all this stuff yeah, or whatever. Yeah, from the pollution. So. Well, who knows what's in that, in that well. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Well, we don't even know if he's alive. It's just been like well yeah. sewage or something. And, yeah. uh, and what's funny is the um, title of the video is I'm about to die from laughing. This guy on the motorcycle <laughs> is truly attached. What the heck does that mean? Yeah. Like it's truly yeah. attached. <laughs> I think they... I think it means like he just wanted to get away so yeah, bad. Yeah, he's like so yeah. determined. This, this is definitely like jackass or dumbass of the week, I think, mm -hmm. material right there. So anyways, okay. well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, let us know what your first initial reaction to this video was, because I think that would be very uh, funny to know. Okay, yeah. now, hashtag us OTGW. The question is, let me see, uh, from uh. Old Mandarin. I don't know, this must be a page. Some, okay, so Old Mandarin said, I love you guys, what's your major? So Dan, what's your major? Uh, I studied, uh, well I settled on theater in college, um, but I actually, I started with like uh, communications. Um, I wanted to do like things with music and photography, but then my GPA wasn't of the level it needed to be, what so. Photography? Uh, the photography I'm is telling you, it I'm course. telling you, you needed a, a 3.0 GPA. Out of B, what? Out of four. Okay. Which is like a B plus average to oh, for, for yes for art and photography. What? Yeah, I don't look. I that's what I asked I mean, them. Does your grade depend on the I'm, picture you're taking? I'm I'm still perplexed by that, <laughs> and so I was like, okay, well, uh, I gotta you know. Screw that. Yeah, so I kind of I accidentally settled on theater, and I really liked it. You know, it was great. Um, it was a lot of fun. 
So that's my major. Well, what I originally wanted to do was um, environmental engineering. So you smart. Yeah. And but I ended up doing journalism with a major in Asian studies. Sounds mm. more fun. <laughs> there, there's some uh, moral thing going on there, but too long to explain. So Mike. Well, I was originally a computer science major because my dad told me, coming from a Chinese household, <laughs> you better be a computer science major. So I was a computer science major, and uh, I didn't understand anything of it. Luckily, I had a smart Asian friend. You know, stereotype that you copied types. homework yeah, from, that I guess? I, that helped me a lot to get through three semesters. And finally, I had to beg my parents to let me out of this major. And uh, the only way they would was if I majored in accounting finance. So I did. <laughs> but do I know accounting finance? No, I do not. <laughs> have, have I ever done taxes in my life? No, I have not ever done taxes. And I know nothing about how to do taxes. It's basically anything with accounting finance, I know nothing about. Wait, 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 wait. Four years. Aren't, aren't I paying you to do my taxes next year? Well, you, you know, lied to me, man. It's, 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 it'll be okay. Oh. You, you got a lot of Dude, tax true. return money back, so I don't know where you're complaining. It's true, actually. And yeah. then maybe a visit from the IRS. Well, I'm not promising. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Good. well, that's it. Please, please, please give us feedback and suggestions. We're making the show for you guys. So, you know, if you don't like it or if you love it, please let us know. Yeah. Because we need what, this is all for you. Definitely. You know, what to change, what to add, you know, anything mm -hmm. like that sort. Yeah. Or so. if you have any question to ask us, hashtag us to OTGW or any suggestions of things that you want us to talk about, Definitely. comment below. And Mike, thanks so much for being here. Great insights. Guys, thanks mm -hmm. for yep. having me. Nice. All right. Well, all right. see you guys later.